RD TV. You've just watched the highlights, or I should say maybe the lowlights of the FA Cup first qualifying round. It finishes Hayes and Yetting two, AFC Russian Diamonds one. I'm with the captain now, Liam Dolman. And uh, Liam, how can you explain that? Just not a good game today for Diamonds. Beaten by the better team. We weren't at it, one to 11. So no, no qualms, just that's it. We've got to make sure that we bounce back in the week now and train hard. And, Go and pick up three points away at Royston next week. Truthfully, it was a tough draw to, to play this team. Uh, Hayes and Yetting, they've been on fire so far early this season. I believe they scored 24 goals in six games and uh, then to play them away as well. But uh, we were a bit flat in the first half. Though. Diamonds played better the second half, though. Yeah, but it's a tough draw. I think if you go away to any team in the FA Cup, it's going to be a tough draw. But we know what these are about. We, we played to them. And, Lost to last year, we could say a bit of a bogey team, but like I just said, we weren't good enough today, we weren't at the races, and we've been told that, which is fair enough by Peaksy, Lammy, Biff and TC, so, but like I just said, we've got to bounce back, it's gone now, there's nothing we can do about it, all we can do is go and work hard Tuesday, Thursday, and hopefully put it right next Saturday. Uh, with the substitutions that Pixie made in the second half, that did give the team a spark there. Uh, Love Jolt, Bowen, uh, good to see him back on the pitch, of course. And John Dean, always Dino has a lot of hustle. Yeah, we huffed and puffed, to be fair. We, when they came on, we created a few chances. And probably when we was on top for five or ten minutes, we didn't take it. But then we've let a, a silly goal in again. And as we're saying, if we'd have kept it 1-0, you get a chance at the end. But... Like I said, bad that at the office, and I don't know what else to say. Oh, to be uh, Joel Jesse had a shot go off the bar. Yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's one of them days, isn't it? Nothing was going to go for us because we didn't earn, earn the look that we needed. So, But like I said, no qualms, and all the best to them in the next round. So, uh, next up for Diamonds, back to league play, as you said, uh, at Royston Town. Uh, we're familiar with that club from a couple of years ago. You made a clutch penalty kick yeah. at, uh, at Royston in uh, the playoff semifinals, I remember. So, back to there, to Royston. Yeah, it's, um, that'll be a tough game. But, like, like I said, no, no place is going to be, even in the FA Cup the league. We've just got to make sure we not prepare better, but react better from how we play today. And we need a response as a team. For, uh, not just for ourselves, but everyone who came down to watch Pixie and Lammy. So it's only us boys who are, who are picked to play that can put that right next Saturday. All right, well, thanks for your time. No. Thanks, Bruce and Liam. I'm now here with uh, manager Andy Peaks. Andy, you must be bitterly disappointed. Yeah, obviously, FA Cup um, and we're out. So, yeah, very disappointed. Uh, any explanation for that? Um, yeah, we weren't good enough. Simple. And uh, what about the consistency? The FA Cup, we, we seem to have done it in the league, and then we've had two FA Cup ties and struggled in both. Yeah, I thought, yeah, well, we just weren't good enough today. The first game against Deep and now we weren't great first half. I thought we played well second half. I thought we played all right the other night. So I get what you're saying, but for me, today was way below the standards we've set, collectively, to be honest. And I presume you've told them that? Yeah, I told them at half time we weren't good enough with the ball, we weren't good enough without the ball. We didn't show enough desire. Um, and we weren't, you know, overall, we weren't good enough. So I said to them, sometimes in football you don't get what you deserve. Sometimes you do, and I think we did today, which was nothing. Yeah. So first half, um, we did start first ten minutes brightly, and it was even. Do you think that? Yeah, there wasn't a lot in it to be fair, but I thought they had a lot more of the ball than us. They caused us a lot more problems than we caused them. Yeah, they were getting down the uh, down the hour right quite a lot, weren't they? They were getting in too easy. Yeah, they were getting in too easy. Um, we wasn't close to their players, and when we did get it, I thought their distribution and ball retention was nowhere near good enough. And we created very little in the first half. I think we had one chance from Ben. Apparently. Yeah, not, not a great deal, did we? Um, and what about the goal? First goal? Yeah, I think the goal. I'm not sure who had lost the man, but it was certainly a free header. Um, and I think there was others who lost the man as well, because I see a few red shirts in there who perhaps could have done better. So again, I will have a look at it. But that's just taking ownership. This is more man. You're not having a free header, and, and they did, and they scored. So second half, you changed it, didn't you? We changed the shape because we just wasn't good enough, and I wanted to try something with the lads. I'd got out there, um, so we changed the shape. I thought second half was better, if you like. Um, still not the answer. Um, yeah, they were huffed and puffed, didn't we, really? Um, my thought was that at 1 0 in a cup game, Bill's got a chance. It could have been the 95th minute the penalty, could have been an equaliser. You'd write it off and start again, but the second goal ultimately killed it, didn't it? Yeah, and the second goal was unfortunate for Ben. Yeah, again, I think it went in too easy. I think we'd give the ball away in a bad area and they broke. Um, we had probably a good chance before that when Joel, for me, is hit the bar and again he should perhaps score. Um, but overall, not good enough, John. And because we got the penalty probably too late, didn't we? 
I just it, I just said that that's typical. You're in one nil. You've always I always feel you get a chance as bad as you are, and so many times that happens. They get a second goal and then you get the goal, which would have brought you back into it, and that was exactly what happened. Really, it was the first decent run Ben Darwin had and penetrated, and we got something out of it. I think we've always said after defeats is, uh, and I think you've always said to me that uh, it's what they do now, how they uh, yeah. respond. Absolutely, we've had good cut runs over the years, and this year, this year was, it was always going to be a tough game. Yeah, give respect to them; they're a good team. You know, they were good last year; they're good this year. So it was always going to be a tough, tough game. It was just the manner we got beat for me. Went out with a bit of a whimper. Um, but we've got a week now to get back training, um, and certainly it's how you react, isn't it? And any news about Callum Westwood? I know he went up with a shoulder injury. Yeah, not obviously not yet. I'm not sure the situation. Okay, but you've got uh, obviously a big squad and uh, changes for next week. Got lots of thinking to do. Yeah, I've got a lot of thinking to do, and there's people waiting their chance. And I probably was a little bit with an FA Cup game. Did I want to make too many changes? Maybe not, because we've been doing okay. But there's certainly people who deserve a chance to play, and maybe next week's you know to shake it up a little bit. All right, mate. I'll let you go. I know we're disappointed. Cheers, John. I don't need-